gift. I always forget that part. <laughs> All right, I'll start again. Uh, welcome everybody to the airport commissioning for April 25th, 2023. Um, ask if uh, anybody has any additions or deletions uh, from the minutes. I'm not hearing anything, seeing anybody's hand up. So I'll ask for approval of the minutes. Can I get a mover and a seconder? Oh, sorry. I got the uh, dean. Oh, oh, go ahead, Kelly. Sorry, Mr. Chair. Just a point of order. You uh, you did skip over the approval of the agenda. Oh, I thought that's what we're doing now. But sorry, right, you said, so you said, you said minutes. <laughs> oh, I, maybe I did. Maybe I was looking at one line and reading reading the one below it. All right. So uh, we do need approval of the agenda. Uh, can I move over in a seconder, please? I got Dean and I got Sam. All those in favor? And that's everybody. Thank you. That's passed. So we'll go to the minutes. Was there anybody have any errors or omissions from the minutes? Anything that was missed? Because I didn't make it, so I can't hold on. All right. Well, we've got a couple others that can. Um, we get a mover and a seconder for the minutes then. Uh, maybe Trevor, if Trevor's willing to move them, just because myself and Sid weren't there, so hard to move them. I, I can move the minutes. Sorry, I'm just on the road here, but uh, I'll move the minutes for the previous I can, meeting. I can, I can second it. Uh, All right. Perfect. Thanks, guys. So we got Trevor as mover and Dean as a seconder. All those in favor? That's everybody. Thank you. Trevor, if there's anything, just speak up. If, uh, if there's anything you want to add or, or say or if there's something that, because uh, I can't see you at all. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you, Martin. Is any Does anybody have any uh, business arising from the minutes? I don't see anything listed here. Nothing. Thank you, guys. Steve, airport manager's report. All right. Um, yeah, things are moving along here. The, uh, the projects are all nearing completion as per my notes there. Um, private hangars, we have one, I would say 99% secured and another one uh, who's pretty, uh, pretty serious. So we may get two hangars this summer built. And things going on. Uh, I think we all remember the March 30th, the, uh, the search and rescue mission on the river, which uh, found the eight bodies, I believe it was in the end. So there was a lot of activity, helicopter activity over the next three days here at the airport with the police and search and rescue and news people um, all buying fuel. Um, just after the ice storm, Hydro One had a helicopter here operating for two or three days and he was in and out quite a bit as well. We had uh, had the runway closed for two days while we did the, uh, just about the final on the airport lighting project. They're basically down to a, a few missent components that they'll come back and install and everything will be up and running. Uh, we had a fuel system problem that was repaired. The wish list holds at the same and we have some new fuel pricing. Uh, I bought a lot of a load of fuel in March so the pricing uh, has changed a little bit. <coughs> the fuel sales uh, March this year to March last, you'll see the big discrepancy of 10,000 liters or 11,000 liters. And that's because we had the second flight school operating for, I think, uh, February and March of last year. So that's why we see that big discrepancy. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I did just get a call an hour ago and we may see a, a jet coming in in the third week of May. Uh, Sky Service is talking about bringing in a Gulfstream jet for a customer. And they had some questions for me about the runway. So that'd be exciting and some nice pictures if it happens. And that's about all I have if anyone has any questions or. Anybody, any questions for Steve? Thank you, Steve. Uh, anybody? Well, if you have a, an open uh, discussion later on, there are a few things that I'd like to bring up. And you, you just, uh, Steve talked about a jet landing. I want to know uh, whether there's anything in the future about expanding the runway. That would allow us uh, to bring in more jets. And I, in my mind, uh, would be to begin to 
put a, a reserve away so that we could, at some point in time, lengthen the runway to 5,000 feet. So if there's any comment on that, Steve, go ahead. Um, yeah, I'm surprised about the jet that's coming in. It's going to be tight for him. Um, he's going to come in light uh, for sure and leave light, that's for sure. It's a Gulfstream G280, which I looked up, and it's a uh, um, its maximum weight is close to 40,000 pounds. Um, at all up weight, it needs a 4,750 foot runway um, for landing. And that's at its gross weight. So I'm sure the pilots are doing their math and sharpening their pencil for landing here on 3,500 feet. So yeah, it, it'll be tight for them. There's no doubt about that. Well, I, I was on the commission years ago, and you know that, Stephen. And I still haven't changed my way of thinking in terms of expanding uh, that runway, whether people like it or not. Uh, what I'm bringing up is my personal opinion. Uh, what we can do, Sid, uh, um, we can get you a copy that we did a, I don't know an, uh, if we want to call it a study or, or, or something. So we have a, like a, a plan forward and uh, with some uh, action plans in there. Um, it was done last year or the year before, but we can get you a copy of that and you can see the, what uh, what they had recommended for us. Um, and if you want, maybe, uh, you know, we can add something to the to the next month's agenda and, and uh, maybe go over that doing, uh, for the for anybody that's new on the commission. Um, I don't know if we want to get into, you know, an hour long discussion on it right now, but uh, no, there is just some more things in the works and uh, and we will uh there's something we'll be discussing and closed as well that uh, may uh, lend itself to those things too so my last comment on that is is uh, i really want to see this happen uh, i came back on the airport commission because i feel there are a number of things we can do uh, so i really appreciate getting that report so i could read through it and understand what you guys are doing right now or what you've done in the last couple of years okay so thank you steve that, uh, that's uh, very fair Yep, we'll make sure you get a copy of it. Yep. Okay. Uh, any other questions for Steve on the on his report? Um, just one question I had, Steve. Uh, they're they're waiting on finals for the lighting and so forth. So I assume that the old lighting is still functional and until such time that uh, they get the final components they needed for the for the new lighting system. Uh, that's right. So the the old runway the new runway lights are in place, but the old ones are being used. Um, the approach slope indicator, the PAPIs, mm -hmm. the, that is operational. The new set is operational right now. And the old VASIs have been decommissioned. Um, okay. The taxiway, all the blue lights and orange lights on the taxiways are all the new lights. If you drive by the airport, you'll see them on. Um, because they're 100% solar, they're not controlled by the pilot. They're gonna be on 24 seven or not. They're gonna be on all night long on photo cells. So if you do drive by, you will see some lights on all night long. And those are solar powered. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Steve. Uh, under new business, uh, 2022 financials. I'm thinking that's Mr. Sude. Yes, three, Mr. Chair. So for the 2022 financials, we are uh, continuing our work with uh, Welsh LLP to compile the 2022 financials. Of course, as they dig further, there are more items that have come up and uh, need to be addressed. Currently, approximately 20 or so hours have been spent on the 2022 financial review by Welsh. Uh, this amounts to approximately $3,500 currently, and, and it is expected that an additional $2,500 will be required to complete the review. We are projecting that the review will be completed by the end of May or early June. Uh, of course, Welsh is not uh, running any audit procedures on the 2022 financials. However, they are doing a full analysis and compilations of the financials to be audited by KPMG. We have also communicated with uh, KPMG to schedule the 2022 audit for the airport for the week of July 24th. Uh, and we are currently waiting for a final confirmation from KPMG that those dates uh, are suitable for their team. Uh, so at this time, I'd like to open the floor for uh, any questions before moving on to the uh, Rati update. Any questions for uh, Sude? I'm not seeing any. All right. So Sude, are you you're doing the the Rati update as well? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Go ahead. 
Okay, uh, again, through you, Mr. Chair. Uh, so we have now substantially completed all of the RATI projects and uh, we were able to meet our March 31st uh, reporting deadline for all uh, items to be expensed and on site. The major projects that were completed were as follows. So the first was uh, the purchase of a Kubota tractor with chopper and rear blade. This item will be used to maintain the airport grounds, specifically for grass cutting and snow removal. The second project was uh, the airport fencing and gates repair and replacement. This included a complete repair and expansion of the airport fencing and security gates. Automatic gate openers were also purchased as part of this project. The third project was uh, the upgrade of the airfield lighting and to solar powered. Uh, this project was by far the most expensive and time consuming of the major projects that were completed. Uh, this upgrade will significantly lower the airport's energy consumption and long-term operating costs. Uh, and this project uh, sincerely demonstrates our commitment to environmental sustainability and uh, responsibility. And the, the last project that was completed was uh, the purchase of an office trailer. So this trailer will serve as a temporary terminal and the airport manager's office, allowing for more efficient operations and improved customer service. Uh, we have also submitted our final claim to FedDev and submitted the final report and completed all of our reporting requirements. Uh, we are expecting FedDev to provide payment by end of May. Thus far, the township has been fronting the costs of the projects and receivables have been set up on the township's books. Once the money is received into the airport's accounts, uh, we will transfer the funds uh, to the township to clear our receivables. Uh, again, I'd like to open the floor for any questions that uh, the commission may have. Anybody with any questions for today on the, the RATI grant? Not seeing any. I just want to say a big thank you today for, as I know you guys were under a lot of pressure, you and Steve and uh, the crew that kind of pulled this thing off at the end as the timelines were pretty tight. So a big thank you. And uh, it sounds like you've been on the ball and everything submitted and, and uh, ready to go. So that's very good. Thanks. Um, any correspondence, anyone? I've got to see nothing. So uh, the, the next thing on the agenda is the closed session. Um, I'll say thanks to uh, to uh, Steve. I'm just trying to think, uh, I guess Steve and Bob are able to go. And if Tracy, if you wouldn't mind staying and Suday and uh, Kelly, if you guys could stay, we'll, uh, we'll go to closed session. Do I need, uh, Kelly, do I need to have a, a mover and a seconder to do that? For you, Mr. Chair, I do have a, a resolution prepared to enter into closed session. Uh, what I could do is I can read that resolution for you and you can call for a mover and seconder and call for the vote if you'd like. Perfect, because I don't have it in front of me. So. Okay, yeah, no problem. Um, so Sorry, Martin, you want me off? Oh, oh Martin's frozen, I froze him. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think it was you, you and I, yeah, Bob. Were... He he said you could hop off, Bob. Perfect. Okay. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, Steve. Bye. Uh, maybe we'll give Martin a minute to log back on. <laughs> Oops. Sam, are you frozen too? Or are you just not moving? Okay. <laughs> yeah, one of those. Muted, Martin. Martin, you're muted. Sorry, guys. I, I lost connection for a few minutes there, and I just got it back. So I don't know where I went. My connections said unstable, and then you were gone. Okay. So, uh, Martin, when about the time you froze, I was just saying I have a resolution prepared. I can read it, and uh, you can call for a mover and seconder and uh, call for the vote. Perfect. Okay, so be it resolved that the Commission convene to close session pursuant to Section 2392K of the Municipal Act to discuss a position, plan, procedure, or instruction to be applied to negotiations. Everybody heard the motion. They have a mover and a seconder, please. I've got Sam and I've got Sid. All those in favor? That's carried.
Okay, just give me a moment to stop the recording.